What, are you trying to top a Goliath? The more of them we drag into the light, the more torches and pitchforks we're gonna see in response. <clears throat> you sure you want to compare your followers to a bunch of angry villagers? Yeah, well, no, man, but... The people are angry, and they should be. They're taking back what's hey, theirs. Hey, hey. Just make sure you're pointing them at the right monsters. Right? Anyway, you get to go inside Titus and play with the robots. Oh, shit, when was this decided, man? Well, we did rock, scissors, and dynamite. Yeah, but I wasn't even there. No, but if it was a tie, you win. Wrench did paper, I did dynamite. Uh, dynamite. Well, it's a regional thing. It's, it, technically, they cancel each other out, okay, so... It sounds, sounds fair. And I sent him into one of the Titus warehouses. Now, he's got the delicate job of reading the fucking manual. <laughs> then you are gonna go to the front door, get the model numbers, and send back to him for the default codes. I will be nearby looking at blueprints and power plants. Yo, let's do it. All right, yeah. Happy hunting. Happy hunting. Cool. My turn. Junior's in. I need to figure out where I'm taking him. You're looking for the security hub nearby. Blueprints show it's a uh, EMP protected by a Faraday oh, cage. No. So it's not going to work. Unless you stick JR all the way in there. <laughs> that did sound kind of dirty. We've got a problem here, Captain. You're trying to understand this with a sane mind. They're insane, Bill. Mad. for a switch box. There's gotta be one somewhere. toward the loading base. The security room is just off to one side. Right, Junior's in place. Everybody say night night to Junior.
The EMP worked like a charm, Ray. Yep. Call me. Wasn't we surprised? You had doubts? I always have doubts. But I also have an excellent poker face, Amigo. Not a skill, mind you. More duty. We got him nearly cleared out. About 80% now. Ranch picked up Titus' default door code. 4-5-4-5. Thanks. Sector sweep complete. Not now! Don't you ever All let it here. Conducting routine duties. Hey. Everything is in order. Yo, puta! How do I get this to happen? Hello. Continuing my oh, hey. patrol. Chingado, I'm getting covered! Nothing to report. Go fuck yourself! Hey, fuck that! Oh, it was right there, man. Shh. Check that shit out. You must be crazy to... Oh, oh, All right, I'm on my way to the server room. You should be able to walk right up to the database server now. Well, except for all the alarms, lasers, and guys with guns. Oh, that easy, huh? Thanks. Sector sweep complete. Everything is in order.
systems are operating optimally. All clear. All right, Ray, send it something your way. Oh, yeah, that's definitely something. You know, this is gonna take some time to parse. You should be close to a private lift in the CEO's office. My blueprint doesn't show where it goes, which means it's exactly what we're looking for. Don't run. Everybody, alert! We have a follow-up description of the target. Place. She even got her own private elevator. Going down. Start at sweep. Marcus, first impressions on the data you sent me. Looks like Titus has the 10 year plan brewing in some kind of prototype lab. All right, let's see what they're keeping in sub level six. And smash the shit out of it. What Wrench means is find and record evidence that Titus is up to something naughty. Well, if you want to get technical, sure. All right, I'm in a nuclear bunker slash parking garage. You got anything else on the prototype labs? Only that there's one thick-ass iron door in your way. No idea what's behind it if you get through. When I get through. Titus Watcher robots have limited offensive capability. We plan to fit them for a much more active role in conflict zones over the next several years. We're currently testing damage resistance within urban suppression contexts. We are also in negotiations with Galilei to build walkers for their space program. Within the next two years, Titus will begin field testing assault and defense capabilities of our robots for use in both domestic and military situations. Featuring reliable accuracy and superior reflexes, our robots will provide safer alternatives to soldiers or security personnel.
One of our long-term goals for Titus Robots is to construct armor capable of withstanding the strongest ballistic attacks in a combat scenario. In domestic security situations, these new models will easily be able to withstand small projectile attacks, Molotov cocktails, and other improvised riot weaponry. People, I've recorded all kinds of ridiculous robotic shit down here. Here, you're not gonna believe it. Anything usable for the video? Titus and Bloom plan to put CTOS functionality into armed robots and use them against civilians. How does that sound? Yeah, all too familiar. What does that mean? Feeding big data through war machines was a wet dream of some of the blue concept grunts when we first were designing the CTOS. I made sure it got the veto back then. That's why you've been so involved with this one. Yeah, yeah, I had my suspicions. And now we've got the proof to burn them. Head on out. Not done here yet. More to see. I'll be in touch. Guys. Guys, I can't even. Where'd you find? Oh, I can't even. Oh. Man, why does he get to play with all the toys? System online. Alright, I think I got this beast all figured out. Just gotta get it through these security doors. Any ideas? Listen, if you knock out the fire suppression system, the doors should open as a failsafe. I can do that. That did it. Heading to the prototypes now. We've got a problem. Looks like the door to the backup servers is still closed. I'm on it. Knock the fuck out of the prototypes while I work on the door. Counting on you, buddy. function loss.
Got it. The door is now open. There should be an elevator. You'll need to find your way up to the back of server room on sub-level 3. Who needs elevators? Make sure you smash the shit out of everything. Tightest shit. It is like engineer porn. I mean, machine learning, nanotech, rail guns. Rail guns? Yeah, I thought y'all might like that. <laughs> this was a gift? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, damn, Ray. You're like some kind of greasy, foul mouthed Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Merry fucking Christmas. Hey, you guys ready? Sitara's about to release the vid. Compared to other Silicon Valley Titans, Titus goes unnoticed. They do not put effort into their public face. They operate behind closed doors, away from prying eyes. DeadSec pride, and what we found should worry you. Titus is using your tax contributions to fund military-capable machines. Today, a combat prototype rampages through their own facility, demonstrating the destruction they can cause. Within the next 10 years, these machines can be deployed on American soil. If you do not exercise your right to protest them now, they will build an army to keep you quiet and compliant. Titus has partnered with Bloom to grant CTOS access to their machines. Bloom has sold your private information and weaponized it to use against you, should this project continue. We will not stand idle while that happens. DeadSec has given you the truth. Do what you will. Come on, let's go see what you scored before you get all the pages all stuck together. Hey, I'll catch up with you later. All right, later.
Yeah, I took her out to the beach to watch the run. 